Clint Crookshanks is given a new priority. All right, I'll see if we have it. Recover the ice protection panel from the Q400's cockpit, where the reference speed switch is housed. Since the panel was in the cockpit, finding it is a challenge. Most of the front end of the airplane was consumed by fire, and so we didn't find anything except for little balls of molten aluminum, uh, little wire bundles, and a lot of ash. But after an extensive search, Crookshanks discovers that the ice protection panel is one of the few pieces of the cockpit that survived. Bingo. However, the knobs and switches are barely recognizable. Crookshanks examines the charred panel to check the position of the reference speed switch. It was set to activate stall warnings at higher than normal speeds. We did find the ref speed switch in the wreckage and it was in the increased position. This discovery only raises more questions. We'll probably be picking up some ice. The cockpit voice recorder indicates that as Renslow was beginning his descent into Buffalo, he commanded his plane to fly at the normal approach speed. But what's strange is that with his reference speed switch on, he actually should have been flying faster, as this is what the switch would remind him to do. So why wasn't he? The plane's computer warned the crew to fly faster, according to the settings they had configured, by displaying a set of red bars on the airspeed indicator. But you may have a better quality of life in regards to... These bars are meant to warn the pilots that a stick shaker activation is imminent. If you're looking at the airspeed indicator, you should be aware that you're getting slow and the stall warning may come on. Jesus Christ! It seems Renslow and Shaw were caught off guard. Still, they could have easily corrected the situation. Once the stick shaker have activated, they could have uh, turned the switch off, or they could have put the nose down and increased their airspeed. It's clear to investigators that Flight 3407 wasn't in danger of stalling when the stick shaker went off. So now they need to know exactly what happened after the stall warning was activated.